Hey guys, welcome to The Tech Show. I'm your host Courtney and in this video I'm going to show you how to rip DVDs and also how to rip um, like a TV series that are stored onto DVDs. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you guys what DVD ripper I'm using. I use MacX DVD Ripper Pro. Uh, whenever I bought mine it came in a package and it came with DVD, uh, the, the video converter, which is really cool if you have um, several different types of video formats that you want to uh, be able to watch on different types of flat platforms. It'll convert it to whatever you want it to be converted to. Uh, I know it's a little bit pricey guys, but it's definitely worth it. It does a really nice job of ripping the movies. So first we're going to start off with a movie. I am going to be ripping a Disney movie because yes, it does rip Disney movies, which is really nice. Some rippers don't. Um, we're going to be ripping The Rescuers Down Under. So you load your movie and just press DVD, load, okay and then it's gonna load the movie and analyze it now what's cool about this is it's gonna analyze the disc and it's gonna tell you what title co uh, what title you need to rip first this little screen will pop up and what you're gonna want to do is select what you want the output um, to be for mine I'm just gonna do a DVD backup I'm gonna do main title content copy and then press done. You can also select anything else that you want, but if you're gonna be like putting it into a media center, I would use this one here. Press done. It'll also do like ISOs. Um, so what it'll do is it'll look at it and it'll tell you what title you need to rip. It could have been like title nine or something like that. A lot of um, movies are encrypted, especially Disney, and it'll have a bunch of fake ones on here that you won't know which one it is, but it'll automatically select which one you need to rip. So this one's title one. Up here you're going to want to title your movie. Uh, I'm going to fix this. I'm a little OCD. I don't want it all caps, so I'm going to change that real fast. There's down under. Okay. And down here, you're going to want to put where you want that movie to be saved at. I have a folder on my desktop called Movies. So I'm going to go to Desktop, click Movies, click Open. And down here, you're going to click Use High Quality Engine. All right, and then once that's done, all you're going to do is click Run. It's going to take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to rip the movie, depending on how big it is. Um, normally, mine range anywhere from 12 to 18 minutes most of the time. Um, it is a little time consuming, but if you like to keep your things in a media collection, it's, it's worth it. Alright guys, so that's how you rip a movie. I'm going to show you guys how to rip a TV series now. I'm going to take that DVD out real fast. Alright. Now for the TV series, we're going to be using Ghost Whisperer. Now I'm going to load that. Gonna find the disc real fast. It'll take just a second. Today, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this piece of software, though, guys. I really, I highly recommend it. And the people behind it, if you ever have any problems, they are very nice. Um, you just gotta shoot them an email, and they're very quick. I sent them an email one night. It was on like a Sunday or something, and it only took them like 20 minutes to respond back to me, which I was very surprised. I wasn't expecting to get an email back until the next day. But I highly recommend this piece of software, and they are not paying me to do this, and I did not get this for free. I actually bought it. So, I'm going to press OK. It's going to analyze the disc. Now, I'm ripping disc 1. All right, I'm going to do main title, content, copy. And I'm doing disc 1. Now, with episodes, you're going to have each episode is going to be a title. So, this is episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4. But it could be like this one could have been episode one, two, three, and four. And then these extra episodes here, these extra titles here could have been up here. You're just going to want to look for the ones that are the highest um, times. But it's going to be in order. So this one is um, the first one. This one is pilot. I already have the pilot, so I'm going to go down to two and I'm going to rip two. So this is going to be episode two of season one, which is The Crossing. So I'm going to change this up here to that. And this is season one, episode two, 
and the title is the crossing all right and once again you know you're gonna want to pick where you want it to go I'm just gonna leave mine at movies because I'm gonna be sending this to another computer anyway so it doesn't matter what the file it's in so and then once you're done with that you're just gonna press run and it's gonna do its job ripping it for you once it's done it's gonna open up into um, the folder that you ripped it to now once this one is done you're gonna want to go and rip the next one which would be title three for me um, that would be the third episode and you would want to keep going until you get done with all the ones that have the highest um, amount on them you don't want to rip these because you don't need them now there are going to be some DVD series that will have the first title or there will be a title that's really long it'll be like two hours or something that's going to be all the episodes combined together unless you want them to be all of them combined together don't rip that one you're going to want to go to the next one which would be like 40 minutes 20 minutes depending on what it is like my full house series all of them are about 23 minutes long but the first title is two hours and 30 minutes it's just combining all of them together and here I am rambling again guys I love to talk so um, if you guys have any questions please comment down below and again you can get this from macxdvd.com um, a lot of the times they do specials like right now they're doing a Mother's Day special you can get them discounted or you get free gifts stuff like that so um, yeah check it out guys and if you have any questions down below and I will see you guys later bye